What brings you here, Gallagher? <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! Really? <laughs> I think she is Serval. Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? D huh? Oh! Oops! <laughs> She's heard us. Uh. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. What? I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Really? The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Yeah, Mark actually has a point. Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Seriously, March? Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. So you can get everyone drunk? Only then. Can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created? In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Uh, check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads, Dream Syrup, Thick. I don't see an expiration date. But the production date is... Half an amber era ago. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. Yeah. But I thought we could drink anything in dreams. Uh, that's true. But this really doesn't seem fresh. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. I, I don't, I don't know this. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. Oh boy. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Uh. You put praise of high morals into the empty cup in a metaphysical manner. What does that even mean? Uh, whoa! The words on the note are changing. Happiness belongs to the noble. Does this mean we can take it? <laughs> Doing good deeds does pay off. Thank you. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Siobhan? Uh-huh. What's all the commotion about? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amaki? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. 
But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. It's called the Roadhouse. We'll be okay. To talk of Penicone is shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just... One moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Clockwork? Just what I've been waiting for. Yeah, I'm counting on you. It is? That's Xiao's voice? You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Uh, well, this is the roadhouse, so you do have to leave. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown roadhouse. shack with no customers whatsoever. Anything can be Im Im imbibed? I'm about to. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Oh. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling making my mind clear and bringing tears to my eyes. Yeah, great talk. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. <laughs> Please pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Amaki has left? <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. I, I can't tell. Maybe I haven't heard Zhao speak enough. Maybe I need to go do more Zhao related quests in Genshin. It's not obvious to me it's also a testament to how good they are when you're ready go to Gallagher <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills that being said mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine just pick your favorite ingredients toss them in a glass mix it up and it's done so go ahead explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer I think I've gathered everything nice work 
Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? I... I don't even want to do this. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Penacony. And that's what today's dream seekers crave. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Um, yeah, yeah, there's a limit. You, you can only get it, get those rewards once. So if you've watched any other streams, um, and reach those limits, then yeah, yeah, it won't work. Uh... The taste is not very intense, yet evocative. After those despicables sent Mikhail away, I found Mikhail. myself lost in the wilderness of my dreams. They say that even the dirt here oozes with sweetness. I remember hearing about Mikhail. All I tasted was stoic bitterness. Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Hold on, I, I remember. Got it. I remember hearing about Mikhail like from the moment I even heard about Penacony. Who's Mikhail? Um. A symbol of bravery and dauntlessness. May you break free from your shackles just like he did. Well, it's done. Here's to you, dreamer, with this glass of the premature burial. To bringing time to a standstill. Perfect. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so, are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors! They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad! The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I really don't care. This is promoting alcoholism. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Mikhail, I heard this name in my dream. Familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit, and now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Finally! All right, let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the Hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news, and the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Does that mean... Death eradicated her? That's impossible. 
The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. What? Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. What is that? I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Mm. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. What? That's intense. But what does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Sometime later. Here we are, Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? What? All the prisoners were brought here helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking Memoria from the Macro Void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of Memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. What? But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville. Hanu? The great peacemaker and the faithful companion of the underdogs. 
Hunt Hanu. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. We just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. What? In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> no way. Not even close. Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside not... world, and internal conflicts between major this... prison districts, the future of Osdana was uncertain. This man is not 13. This <laughs> this man is not 13. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But, but didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No, I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. What? But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. 
Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners. And my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity. In a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Peniconi I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Who could that person be? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. Dang. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. You're 13. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways projected by Peniconi today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt, and see how things are going on his end. Okay. Truly mysterious. Still seems like you can't trust anyone. Definitely learned a lot about Aventurine and don't hate him anymore. Sunday just seems like a sleaze bag. Like, I, I can't wait to bury Sunday from the sound of it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Sunday was responsible for Robin's death, honestly. I'm hoping that we can actually trust Akron. It's It seems like we can, but you know, if there's anything that we've learned from these Hoyo games is that they have no problem ripping the rug right underneath your feet.